The COVID pandemic has not stopped soldier training at Fort McCoy, but it has forced some new practices and procedures. Today, the fort hosted a live fire training exercise. News 19's Travis Udell takes you inside for a closer look. Are y'all ready for this? Oh. Hey, this last day, one more, huh? Oh. Y'all ready? Oh. Y'all ready? Oh. How do you feel? Motivated. How do you feel? Motivated. How do you feel? This is this is a very really important training. This is this is real real soldier stuff out here. As a soldier, you have to be prepared for anything, um, whether that's today, tomorrow, or even a few years. We always have to be prepared, and this type of training helps us be prepared. It helps us reach that goal of being successful as a unit, as a team, and individually within ourselves too. Um, this is the type of training that is going to allow people to become, or soldiers, to become military, military disciplined with their mental and physical um, experiences. It gives you a real life um, experience, you know, hands on experience of what it's like, you know, if we do go out to deployment. So you're in the trucks, you're working all of the equipment, um, you're engaging targets downrange, you're working with your team, you're working with people in the tower and you're, um, you're communicating back and forth. So those are all good lessons that are important to the readiness of the Army Reserve and are important to these soldiers to get ready to go. We use the 240 Bravo as well as the Mark 19 to see um, during the nighttime. Pulling that trigger, it's it's something that you should take with honor as well. When the targets pops up, there's a lot of things that's going through my mind. We have the truck commander communicating with us. We have to understand the directions, the distance, and um, the description of the target. So we gotta communicate that with our truck commanders. So there's a lot going um, on in your mind. And also you have to focus on the target. You have to focus on your breathing, your trigger squeeze, and you also gotta um, focus on your stability and aim on the, on the um, target, so it's really important that we're doing all those things at the same time. Working as a team is life or death, basically, because when you're in a um, deployment situation and you're downrange, at any point in time, you can be engaged by the enemy. So you have to be ready, and if you can't communicate well with your team and put that cohesion together, then it, it literally is a life or death situation. After they leave here, hopefully they've, they've learned what it's going to, in essence, be like if they are ever called down range and have to work as a team because you never know when you're going to be called to be in a convoy and, and have to do a job that you, you might not have thought you were going to be able to do. And Fort McCoy is taking precautions to protect soldiers from COVID-19. As you saw in the video, soldiers face regular temperature checks and a series of screening questions each morning and soldiers are wearing masks when they are in groups.